So when it comes to motorcycle chains, there's quite a variety of different sizes and all the numbers that go along with those sizes. It can all be a little confusing. So today we're going to pick away at that and uh, see if we can't make some sense out of it all. So I'm going to show you guys later in the video that it's possible to measure a chain and find out what size it is. I'm going to take this sprocket here and this is a correct match here for this chain. And there's a little bit of side play. If I take that same sprocket, put it in here, now it's, you know, it's a uh, much too narrow for that chain. And this small one here, well, it physically won't even roll in there. So I'll take this larger diameter sprocket, and it's a nice match for this one. A little bit of side play, and then of course it's too wide for here. So sprockets always have to match the chains. So two things that determine the size of a chain are the width of the chain and the pitch. And the pitch would be the distance from the center of a pin to uh, the one beside it. Center to center, that's the pitch. And the width is the uh, narrowest part of the chain. So if I would use this caliper and I would measure right in here, that would be the width of the chain. So the difference between those two sprockets is quite noticeable when you stack them side by side like this. The one on the right is a 530, the one on the left is a 520. So the numbers are close, but quite a huge difference. So on the left, these are some of the more popular motorcycle chain sizes. And if you ride a dirt bike or a street bike, chances are you've got one of those on your bike. And uh, remember before I was telling you that the pitch here in the middle row that is based on the center of one pin to the center of the next pin, that measurement. And this whole chart, by the way, is based on inches. So when you ride around on your Japanese motorcycle and you're looking for a brand new chain and sprockets and you look for, uh, well, I want a 520 chain, you might say, well, that number actually started off based on uh, inches and that's how they came up with those numbers the 520 530 and all that so if you look at the uh, list on the left under uh, chain size those three digit numbers they all start with a four five or a six and that first number is the reference to uh, what pitch that chain has and i'm going to show you guys how they came up with that so that 520 chain we're just going to take the five but before we can do anything with it, first we have to understand what they did. They took one inch, divided into eight equal parts. So that's one eighth of an inch, each increment. And that 520 chain, they're using five to reference the uh, pitch. So we're going to take an eighth of an inch, we're going to times it by five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that puts us at five eighths of an inch and that's the pitch. So the first number refers to the pitch. See, and if you look at the last one, the 630, so then I take six increments, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that puts me at three quarters of an inch. And that's the uh, pitch on that the 630 chain. So back to the chain size chart here, and we're going to look at that 520 again. So 5, now we know that means that's the 5 eighths of an inch for the pitch. And the 20, how does that come up with a quarter inch for the uh, inner width or the roller width? Well, what's happening there is they're counting off 2.0 times on that uh, rule of 8. So 1, 2, and that's a quarter inch and then that works out here on our chart. So on the bottom there, it's a 630, so they're going to use the rule of 8 three times. So then we've got 1, 2, 3 eighths of an inch for the uh, roller width there on the 630. And then look at the top one there, see the 415 chain size? So here they're using 1.5 times the rule of 8, so then that ends up we're going to have to break that, inch, break that inch up into a few more parts here. So now we've got the sixteenth of an inch increments all the way along here. 
So we need one and a half rule of eights here. So that's one and a half right there. So now I gotta count off the sixteenths. So that's one, two, three sixteenths of an inch. And then that works out on our chart too.